dang it. Being that I have an example of the two main types of cylinder heads that Jaguar put on the V12 in the shop today, I figured this would be a good time to do a Tuesday extra on the subject of the differences between the pre-HE and the HE cylinder head. Now what we've got here is pre-HE. These would have been up until 1980. And I believe there was some bleed over into the 1980 model year with, a, with the earlier engines. And this one is the HE cylinder head. Now the reason that Jagger went from this one to this one was because suddenly gas got real expensive. This one, while it was good for power, didn't get real good fuel economy. This one not only saved the Jaguar V12 engine, but may well have saved the company. Let's take a look. Now on the outside of the engine, you can see that there's a great deal of difference in terms of general appearance. Uh, the, the service on the HE engine, it's just a straight plane across the top of the head. Whereas on the, the pre-HE, you can see that there is a lot of sand casting that's evident in the top of the, uh, the outer portion of the cylinder head. You can see the same thing right here. There's a lot of difference in the, uh, in the surface texture and the general appearance of the cylinder head. There's some very obvious differences. If we look at the sides, you can see that pre-HE engine, we can move this around here. We can see that the pre-HE engine has spark plugs that angle toward one end or the other. The front three angle toward the front, the back three angle toward the back. On the HE, you can't see it because I don't have any spark plugs in this head at this time as they come straight out. So the main giveaways, well, there's others as well, like fuel rails for the injectors and that sort of thing, general layout of the fuel injection system. But uh, if you're looking at a used engine and none of that stuff is on the top of the engine, the giveaway is the angled plugs and the, the sand casting that are visible very easily for you to be able to recognize it. Okay, but the really big difference between these is under here. If we look at the pre-HE, you can see that the bottom of the cylinder head is just one straight flat cut. The valves are the same size. They're gonna be a little different lengths because of the different combustion chamber design, but this is what the pre-HE looks like. Not particularly sophisticated. Now, the reason that there is no combustion chamber here is that there's a dish at the top of the piston that serves as a combustion chamber. And there's a, a large, like three eighths inch wide squish area around the, uh, the piston. If we look at the HE, notice things are a little different. Well, first of all, ignore all this. Um, I had some welding done in this head and it's going to be planed here in a little bit. Also, you can see the valve seats have been removed, but it's what we got right now. But you can see that the combustion chamber is much different on the HE. And that is because you've got the you got the exhaust area here that is sunken way into the head, and you got the intake here. So as the piston comes up, the fuel and air mixture that is around the area of the intake valve gets forced out through this passageway right here, and it swirls its way past the spark plug, so that as the spark is occurring. The fuel and air mixture is swirling past it. Even though that spark occurs very quickly, this stuff is really moving. So what that does is it results in a much more efficient combustion and it allows the use of leaner mixtures. And it was, the engine went from 13 miles per gallon, thereabouts, you know, average of city and highway driving up to 16, 17, 
I've heard as high as 18 to 20, which you kind of wonder about, but I've seen 21 miles per gallon on the highway with my 1990 convertible. Exhaust ports are the same on both of them. And the fact of the matter is that if you want to build a high performance V12, that's the one you want right there because it's possible to get larger valves, intake valves in particular, in the combustion chamber with this cylinder head design than it is for this one. Everything's kind of trapped in these cavities. That's all I can come up with off the top of my head here. If you guys can think of anything else, put them in the comments below.